So uh, let's move uh, further north uh, uh, and um, end up on the uh, north slope of uh, Alaska. Um, I'm representing the uh, program, which is one of the youngest program also. Uh, we are facing the same challenges as um, other sites. Uh, uh, going this year to the North Slope is a little bit more challenging than the other years. So um, the uh, three lagoons and the three sites that we are occupying are near uh, Quavik, formerly known as um, Barrow, uh, Dead Horse near Prudhoe Bay, and uh, Kaktovik uh, in the uh, Jago lagoons. So it's no surprise now to anybody that, or nobody that um, changes in uh, the Arctic are uh, drastic right now. Um, that also affects uh, the uh, lagoon environment. As you can see here on the left-hand side, um, the ice in the lagoon is earlier now in the seasons and reform later uh, also in uh, the season. Uh, consequently also we have um, a huge coastal erosion that affects uh, the uh, villages but also uh, the uh, ecosystem and the delivery of organic matter to uh, the lagoons. Indeed, uh, if you look at uh, the super permafrost uh, groundwater uh, discharge, it's a huge amount of uh, fresh water as well as uh, dissolved organic carbon and organic nitrogen uh, in the summer. Not only the uh, ecosystem is uh, dealing with uh, uh, long-term uh, changes in uh, the um, environment, but also in those lagoons, it's amazing how the ecosystem responds to huge difference in uh, salinity and temperature. Like for instance, the salinity can vary from um, a few PSU to 45 PSU under uh, the ice. Nevertheless, under the ice with that high salinity, there is a very rich um, uh, and fauna and uh, epibantic uh, um, invertebrate uh, population. The whole uh, lagoon food web is uh, very um, rich and important to uh, not only uh, the um, to be there but also for the villages. Uh, conceptual model that uh, land is a huge delivery of uh, nutrients also, even though we don't know exactly the bioavailability of the dissolved organic matter coming from land, we hypothesize that in uh, the spring there is a high inflow of fresh water and nutrient. There is also a large accumulation of uh, nutrient uh, from the bentos over the winter, which will lead to high productivity as soon as the light becomes available. There will be also a change between the lagoon and uh, the shelf uh, during uh, that season of the spring. While we move in the winter, in the uh, summer, there will be a low flow inflow of fresh water and nutrient and it will be a more recycling ecosystem into the lagoon, where also now we have a reciprocal exchange of water from the shelf and the lagoon. But how uh, uh, do fresh water inflow, coastal erosion, ice or and ocean mixing influence biological, uh, biological communities and nutrient into the lagoon system has to be address with long-term high frequency sampling. We need to know over the season what's going on and we are 
have also to know over the decade how the changes are. So the, our sampling uh, strategies is the following. Um, there are three main uh, cruises that are uh, happening in uh, April when there is uh, still ice. In June when there was breakup of the ice and uh, in August when uh, the, it's uh, ice free. There are also instruments that are a year long uh, in the water. So to put a little bit more in perspective what we are doing, we uh, go on the tundra, we reach the rivers, uh, we collect with little bottles. Uh, it's a lot of fun uh, when there are a lot of mosquitoes. Yes, you have big waves, uh, but uh, we have also other challenges um, to go there in samples. Uh, bears also we have to deal with. Anyhow, um, the environment uh, changes are uh, assessed uh, using moorings. Uh, we also um, uh, look at the climate change uh, in uh, soil temperature and temperature, wind humidity, precipitation, uh, power also. We have camera online to uh, assess the landscape uh, phenology, the uh, ice retrieve information, the state uh, of uh, the ice. And we are uh, now starting to um, involve the uh, community to uh, give us some uh, measurement that will uh, allow us to have a sea ice uh, mass balance and to constrain better the growth and the retrieve of the marine. So uh, we also do some quantification of uh, the fluxes and our main goals are to create an ecosystem scale three season understanding of carbon flow between inorganic and organic pools, examine seasonal and spatial differences in how multiple nitrogen sources regulate primary production, microbial processes like nit uh, nitrification and denitrification, and uh, develop a uh, model that will be from land to ocean. And will allow us to uh, fill up the gaps that, because we cannot uh, be there all the time, but also will help us to uh, address some hypotheses that we are formulating. Here's the family um, from the LTR BLE. Thank you, Yvette. 